Hi, my name's Kerry Badham and I'm delighted to show you today our brand new Totally Tropical Leaves product. The set consists of four cutters. We have one here, number two, third design, and the fourth. We've made this three tier cake to demonstrate how you can use the tropical leaves. We've used them in various ways. On the top here, we've got them as part of our flower display. And then we've used them on the middle tier of the cake to make this beautiful finish. The tropical leaves are very on trend at the moment. We've also used the FMM Hawaiian flower to complement our brand new product. The paste we recommend you use is modeling paste, or you can use a flower paste or in some countries they call it gum paste. Today I'm going to show you how to make some modeling paste. You can buy it, but you can also make it yourself. Use a simple fondant and you knead it. You take your tylo, you may know it as CMC or gum track. This is a rainbow dust tylo. And I place a small amount on my mat. And then I knead my paste into it. You can make up a batch in advance, but I find it nice and easy to make as I go along. So I would knead the tylo into this, and then I would wrap it in clean film, pop it in an airtight container, and leave it for at least 30 minutes. Or you can make it the day before. I've rubbed my modeling paste out and allowed it to sit for just a little while to have a dry kind of touch to the top. So not too thick, but you don't want it too thin either. I'm going to place the cutter on top and apply pressure all the way around. I'm going to move it around my mat and you'll be able to feel your mat underneath. This will ensure you have a nice clean cut. So I'm going to turn this over and gently remove the sections. So in here, we're just going to remove those inner pieces. You can see that the paste is ready, so it's actually trying to come away. And you remove that piece there. This is one of my favorites from the set. So you can turn it over. And then you can just pop it through. You can use a soft brush. As you can see I've done it with my finger. So there we have a lovely leaf. And I wanted to add some veining to it to add a bit of depth and texture and interest. You don't need to do this. But I've just gone along with the tool. And you just do them very random. It's your leaf. You do it your way. And here. And then I would just place that to one side. Normally on a sponge, so it dries out nicely. I'll just show you the, the long leaf that we have in the set now. So just the same, just place it on top and apply your pressure all the way around. Move it around your mat. Turn it over, and you just want to remove these sections so nice and gently, just as before, and it's coming out very simply. And again, I did the same thing, I just gave it some veining up. I'm just going to pop this to one side to dry. There's two leaves left in the set. One of them is this one, which is a very simple one just to pop out. So I'm not going to demonstrate that one today. But I'm going to demonstrate this one. Now, this is quite an intricate design. There's lots of small pieces. So you need to use this one 
very carefully. Lots of places for the fondant to get caught. So it's important that we apply the right amount of pressure and that our paste is correct. So for this, I'm actually going to use our dab of dust and I'm going to pop some on top. So this is icing sugar or corn flour, it's up to you. And this is to stop it sticking inside the cutter. I'm going to place the cutter on top and apply pressure all the way around. It's very important to do this to make sure that you have a nice clean cut. And this is a very interesting leaf to put on your cake, so it's definitely something that we wanted to include as part of the set. And it is worth it once you take it out. So I'm just going to remove the outside and then I'm going to gently turn it over and check. So you can see here we've got some lovely clean cuts and if you need to, you could run over them with your finger just to make sure you get it all the way through. So now we're going to go in and we're going to remove those small sections that you don't need. So nice and gently. These ones have already fallen out. Here, there's a section there, and there's one there. So you can give it a little tap. You can do it just slightly, gently push it through. You don't want to damage your paste, but that's the beauty of modeling paste. It's firmer. And there you go. It's the final leaf in the tropical leaf set. As you can see, we've shaped the tropical leaves that we have positioned around our flowers. So these we attach with water. You can use edible glue, but water is more than sufficient. It activates the tylo in the leaf and you just place it on top. But we're gonna show you how to shape these so you can attach them on the cake upright and give them some definition. To shape our leaves, I shape them on a foam ball. So I bought these balls online and then you cut them in half. And you can also use these when you make your cupcake toppers if you want the nice dome to look. So you cut that in half, just so you're not looking for half a ball to buy online. And pop one to one side. And here's the leaves that we made earlier. So if you want to give them some shape, you can just pop them over the top. And then they will dry in these shapes. If you want them to be in a slightly different shape, you can lift the parts up. The modeling paste will start to firm up. Or you can pop some tissue underneath so you can give it a slightly different shape and definition too. What I am going to show you is how I supported the leaf with a curve. So I take a florist wire and I measure it on my leaf from top down to the bottom. So these are just wire cutters. And what we're going to do is we're going to cover the wire in the modeling paste. The same color. The florist wires are covered in paper. So I have the white one here. So I've made that a little damp. And then I'm going to take my modeling paste and I'm going to twist it down the wire. So I call this twiddling <laughs> of all names. So you just move down the wire till you get to the end. Now this is quite thick, but you don't want it like that. So what you do is you work with it. So you keep twisting up and up and up. There we go. Making it finer and finer. The finer it is, the better. Because what you don't want is this big bulky 
line behind your leaf. You can do this on petals as well for your flowers. You can use the method where you insert it in, so you need a thicker centre, but I find this so much quicker. And then you haven't got to worry about your, your leaf splitting as you do it. So there we have our wire covered in the same colour modelling paste. So our leaf is turned over, this is the back, and I'm going to go down here with a line of water. So with this, you want to wait a second or so just for the, the wet to activate on it and then that will become sticky. So if it doesn't work the first time then you can just go again, it's not a problem. Okay, so I'm going to twist this around with the leaf. Now I've made mine slightly too long, so nice and simple. Just cut the end off. Right, so turn it over. So what you can do here now, because we have a wire on the back, is we can manipulate it into a shape we want. So can you see? that it's holding itself. So despite being wet, it's holding itself still. So what you will do is place that over your ball here, and that center line will always stay strong. So once you attach that to the top of your cake, it's the wire that's going to be supporting the leaf. As you can see, I've added some color to my leaf so you wait for them to dry completely and I've used the edible flower dust this one's made by rainbow dust and I've used a lighter gold towards the center and then I've enhanced the edges with a slightly darker gold so just make sure your product is edible but also remember there is a wire down the back of this so you need to tell the person you've made the cake for that they must remove it before eating it you can download the project sheet for this cake on FMM website on Educate and Inform. All our cutters are food safe. They're all made from plastic and they are 100% sharp. We do hope you've enjoyed our video and we do believe that the totally tropical leaves will be a fantastic addition to your cake making tool set.